Hi, Chess Kane here. Today I wanted to go over the Severe Gear line, uh, essentially, um, well mainly because they added another product that used to be in the uh, good and better category, now it's in the best category as well. Uh, but first of all, the Severe Gear line, it's, uh, it's, it's a newer line of AMZO products. It came out because, well, in, the, in the beginning it wasn't available publicly, it was more of a racing product to solve a problem in overheating differentials that would either break or they just simply overheat. And when that happens, you lose severe efficiency. Uh, one improvement that I could tell you this product made was in a, uh, let's say, a full-size Class A RV going up a mountainside. Uh, it was able to achieve, let's say, 45 miles per hour uh, with the, you know, the pedal to the floor. And once this product was put in, it reached 50 miles per hour. That's how much loss from the extreme heat and the expansion of metals in that differential that this reduced. So the Severe Gear 7590, let's mention that one first. If you're trying to achieve the best performance, best fuel economy, uh, energy to the wheels, and longest life, whether it's extremely cold or extremely hot, that's this product here. You're going to select the 7590 per your owner's manual, and then of course, other popular vehicles still call for 75140 today. A lot of uh, Ford differentials do. Uh, now let's talk about this one real quick. This product here uh, is quite interesting because if you look at this chart, I'll put the data sheet up, you can see some of the numbers here. But the 75140 Brookfield Viscosity is well into uh, the advanced areas as far as uh, fuel savings and doing what you need a lubricant to do. That's let, allow the energy to pass through the gears uh, without wear to the materials. When the oil is thick, you create heat, and of course, you, you know, heat goes, is loss of energy, and then there's also wear. If you can see the Mobile One product failed, not only is this product going to be improvement over Mobile One, but when you buy the Mobile One, as we see, it doesn't even meet the minimum requirement uh, that's expected by the consumers. So those are things you need to keep in mind when selecting different brands. Uh, but what, really quick, this product here, which is the GL5, uh, it used to be our AGL 8090. Well, the product code is still AGL, but it used to be uh, packaged like this one here. You could see the Starburst label. And these are ones that I'm just phasing out because we got the new version in. The chemistry is the same. This is a bargain product. Uh, it's a GL5. It's still a better product than what you're going to find with the OEM labeled products that cost significantly more. Uh, still in this packaging versus this one, an 80W90 versus a 75W90, they're pretty much interchangeable. There's no difference as far as uh, the overall, um, what do you call it, uh, benefit to the consumer here. If it says 8090 in the book, you can use 7590. It's still a 98. If it says 7590 in the book, you can use an 8090 because it's still a 90 weight at operating temperature. But this product has a unique advantage, even though this one might flow better and have a lower, uh, what do you call it, uh, Brookfield viscosity. Uh, this product here, <clears throat> excuse me, is great in older differentials that may have wear. Uh, maybe you hear noise and whining going down the interstate. Uh, we had a customer with the Jeep Cherokee who put this in there and it reduced the noise significantly. And at those higher temperatures, this product remains a little bit heavier than this one. Uh, they pretty much start out the same, uh, but this one remains a little bit more on the thick side. It's still within grade, but it's just slightly higher. So that's something to consider with this product here. It's about three or four, or maybe even five dollars cheaper a quart than this product. These are quarts, by the way, these squeeze bags. Uh, so yeah, cost-wise, um, if you're looking for that form of efficiency. And the unique thing about this is this is the perfect oil. If you want one for a transmission, a manual transmission that calls for a GL4, or if you have a transaxle like a, a Porsche, a Corvair, Chevy Corvair, 
or a uh, Volkswagen where the transmission and the differential share the lubricant. There's uh, several vehicles that, uh, Pontiac Tempest, uh, several vehicles that share the fluid. But this uh, GL5, as it says on the data sheet, it is able to be used where GL4s are called for. And I did talk to corporate on that too, and they said, yes, uh, you'll never get the temperatures and the additive package in this will not harm the uh, synchronizer metal. So if you do want one good product to fit all, uh, this one will do it. But in the case of my Corvair at home, this is what I have. A lot of pe people put the GL4, but it doesn't have the uh, EP additives for the differential, which actually sees a lot more uh, heat in, uh, what do you call it, metal-to-metal uh, -metal contact than the transmission itself. So this is just a no-brainer product for that. Also, yeah, if you do need a GL4 only, uh, of course, this is one of my top sellers. Of everything I sell here, uh, my own personal experience, by the way, uh, we have a lot of customers that come in the door just to buy one product frequent, and this would top. Uh, the Severe Gear line is at the top of that list. Now, a couple of interesting facts about the Severe Gear. Uh, as far as breakthrough technology, keeping temperatures down, uh, when it was used on the Pikes Peak Hill Climb, it saved differentials, as we mentioned. Uh, this is also part of it, the marine gear lube. It can take water and moisture and keep the foaming nearly to zero or a small, a extreme small factor. But this lowers temperatures in your uh, lower gear unit in your boat. And then ATVs, which also see uh, humidity, moisture. Uh, they're smaller sumps, so they have a ability to have more thermal runaway. And they're abused, uh, you know, high, high RPMs for uh, short periods of time while pulling loads. A small sump like an a ATV differential really deserves to have the best. So this is the same product basic as this where the additives are just adjusted. Assuming this is going into water and moisture uh, situations. And of course, if you need it, if you got a limited slip, these products do carry some of this additive, but the slip lock additive will go uh, well with that. So that's just a quick overview of the Severe Gear line. If you want the best, you want the best fuel economy, you may have a worn differential or a transaxle. Uh, the Fords, that call for the 140. You want the, the best fuel economy with that. Uh, of course, easy applications with these new, I call them the squeeze packs, they call them the easy pack. Uh, no more pumps needed to fill your lower unit on the boat. And the same thing with the ATVs. It's always a big mess. This kind of encourages you to get the job done instead of waiting another year. So that wraps up uh, discussion here on the Severe Gear GL5 Amsoil product line.